I'm going to use the staking tool to replace the hairspring onto the balance wheel. And first of all, I need to line up the hole I'm going to use. So what I've, I've, uh, I've put the uh, balance wheel. So the bottom uh, with the impulse jaw actually goes through that hole just so it supports uh, the staff enough. So I'm not going to, when I put the collar on, it's not going to uh, distort any of it and put it all out of the shape. Incidentally, if uh, if your uh, if your uh, jaw, if, if there is no regulator on the top of the balance cock, this is actually how they uh, would have to regulate um, to get the, the the watch in beat would be to take this balance that uh, the hairspring off and move it either left or right. Um, and what that would do, it would move the impulse jaw to line up uh, hopefully straight with the uh, with the rest of the pallet fork which would bring the watch into beat so this would be the way they would do it before there was regulators or, or beat adjusters for the uh, to bring the, um, the watch into beat so what I'm going to do bring this down and um, there's a tightening wheel at the back so I just make sure this is centered tighten that up take that away this is the tool I'm going to use what I've done is I've, I've put it over the collar so the outside of it's enough to push the collar down but the hole in the middle is big enough so the balance staff could uh, go through it so I'm not going to crush that so obviously the impulse jaw is going to be facing down so that's on the bottom Big enough hole? Maybe, oh no, it is. Thought I might need the bigger size up. Now, as it's not an exact hole at the bottom, you you can get a, a precise tool for this uh, to support the impulse jaw. I'm going to roughly line up the top of the balance staff with that hole. So when I come down onto the collar and push it down, I'm not going to crush the. Uh, the pivot coming in the balance stuff, the pivot all the way through. Um, so that feels about right there. Okay. Just, oh, I don't know what's, let's zoom in here. Okay. So you can see what I'm doing. So when this tool comes down. It's got enough clearance, as you can see, for the pivot to go through the hole in the middle. And when I put the collar on, the hairspring on, it actually pushes the collar down. <laughs> in theory, this is what's meant to happen. Now, I had taken a picture of where the stud was and where how the collar was positioned. Um, obviously, if it's too far around one way or another, that's going to affect where the impulse jewel is and send the watch out a beat possibly. So ideally I could probably use brass tweezers but I'm not because I haven't. So let's pick that up. around oh come on That looks about right, position-wise. Now I'm going to come down really gently with this staking tool because I don't want to crush to set the pivot if it has not centered. I'm come down really slow. Come up a little bit so I can see how far the collars come down. <laughs> 